It's the best cheap back rack clone on the market right now. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna say a few words today on Central Obsession's copy of Baccarat Rouge 540, one of my favorite scents of all time. Central Obsession's has hit me up for a while now saying they're trying to perfect the scent. I've been waiting to try it. I actually tried out their Lime in the Sky, which has a little bit of Ariana Grande's cloud. I really, really liked Lime in the Sky. I could tell that he was very close to being able to perfect that Baccarat kind of smell because of how close it smelled in Lime in the Sky. I know there's a lot of people who like to buy the original fragrances and there's a lot of people who are always on such a tight budget and they're always looking for the cheapest way that they could get their nose on a fragrance and this is the probably the most affordable yet viable option that I've smelled for Baccarat Rouge 540 right now. I'd actually be very interested to see what he would do with the Baccarat Rouge 540 X straight or the stronger version because this is supposed to be the normal parfum version and it's very, very nice. Right off the bat, I've been used to smelling the X straight clones. The X straight clones clones are a little bit stronger and a little bit less transparent. So right off the bat, when I smelled this, I'm like, oh, I just I noticed how much lighter it smelled. But then I was like, well, I'm not comparing it to the right fragrance. I should be comparing this to Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's not copying the original version of that. I sprayed this fragrance probably about three, four, five full days. And I've also done some other testing on it. I've shown it to some people. Every time that I try it, it's been passing all my tests of everything that I like. The times that I did test this to see how original it was, I tested it with the original Baccarat Rouge 540. I did did write up some pros, I wrote up some cons, and I gave it a full rating as usual. It's very hard to describe, but it's almost a little bit of cotton candy. It's a little bit of this objecty vibe, a little bit of burnt sugar, and a little bit of ambroxan. The ambroxan I noticed a little bit more in this one because it provides more of a kind of like a transparency, like a musky kind of feel that comes off it. It's hard to describe, but I do smell a little bit of that ambroxan. Just a well put together scent, very often its own direction. A little feminine, but also very, very nice. I just can't get enough of this scent. I really, really enjoy it. Let's jump right into the pros of this fragrance. It's got a sexy, alluring smell. I just kept getting really, really nice whiffs of this one every time that I sprayed it. I actually was going through a pretty hard day one of the times that I was wearing it. This scent didn't kind of bring me out of that mood. I just, every time that I smelled it, I was like, man, I just really, really enjoy that scent. If I got stuck with this scent for a long time, I'd be completely fine. And I just really, really enjoy it like normal. It's got more transparency in this version, which I kind of am on the fence whether I like it or not because I really like very bold, strong, in your face, unique fragrances, which is more like the perfume. But then I do like that subtle sexiness that you're kind of just getting this little sexy vibe over and over and over. And that's kind of what I get with this one. So right off the bat, I was a little afraid because I didn't project as much as the perfume versions. But then I noticed that it was going for the original Back Rat Rouge 540. It's going for a little more transparency and a little bit more of that subtle sexiness. And I just really, really enjoyed it. The uh, transparency with the Ambroxan reminded me a little bit more, a little bit of a Fierce kind of vibe because Fierce has a, some of the ISOE Super and just that sexy, transparent vibe. And this one has that Ambroxan with just that sexy, transparent vibe as well. Just very, very good, very solid. Really, really enjoyed it. Just the cons is that it's not as full as other ones because it's not going for that Parfum version. So some people have said Backrat Rouge 540, they sprayed a bunch and they, they just don't really get that much whiffs of it. Backrat Rouge 540, has a transparent quality so you could kind of spray a lot of it although it's so expensive you don't want to spray a lot of it it just has that transparency and transparent scents can be over sprayed or you might need to spray them a lot if you're going out that it is not as full spray for spray as something like the parfum i don't know if that's necessarily a good or a bad thing because i really do enjoy the transparency of this one this has a little bit of a feminine vibe so if you want an overly masculine scent this probably isn't it but that also means the ladies might like this a little bit more than just a super manly style scent it kind of depends on what you're going for personally it's hard to describe but it's like this lemon vanilla desserty vibe that i get with this fragrance that I don't really get as much from the original Baccarat. I feel like Baccarat may have a, some little bits of elements of lemon and some little elements of vanilla, but it's all kind of morphed into one. I do get kind of just this um, vanilla, lemony kind of dessert vibe, like 5% more in this one. But besides that, it's so, so good, guys. The times I was getting whiffs of it in the air and I wasn't really remembering what I was wearing until like I got the whiff and it was just fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this one and I could spray this one easily for a week or two straight and not have any problem doing so. I'd give it a smell rating of an 8.5 to a nine, just very solid. I'd probably give the original Baccarat and Baccarat Extreme probably a 9.5 to a 10 because I just love those fragrances. Likeability, 8.5 to a nine, 
too. This is a super, super likable fragrance in my opinion. The only reason that you wouldn't like it is if you're looking for something really aggressive and manly. That's what I was saying. Like certain people looking for that kind of scent aren't gonna like it. But I think generally this is just such a good smelling scent that should be liked by everybody that 8.5 to a nine seems very fair. Longevity and projection. I would give it a 7.5 to an eight. It's got decent longevity and projection. You spray this up, you are gonna smell it, but it is a little bit more transparent. This is overall just a fantastic, fantastic scent. The weakness, I guess, if it has a weakness is its longevity and projection, but it's not bad. It's not terrible. Two hours solid of decent projection and eight to 10 hours on skin. And it would probably last a day or two, maybe three on clothes. It's a solid above average, but it's not great by any means. That's its only weakness. But besides that, guys, I really, really like it. If you're a fan of Baccarat Rouge 540 and you want something very affordable, they definitely check this out. Central Obsessions offers so many sizes, whether you want one ounce, two ounce, four ounce, you get better deals the more ounces you get. So maybe you you know, try this in a smaller size if you're not sure. But if you do like it, you can get such a great amount of it for such a great price. The best cheap Baccarat clone on the market right now so far that I've tried. Although a lot of these houses are already so affordable, Central Obsessions provides you just with the most resources to get the best scents at the cheapest price. That's kind of what I've seen here. And like I said, he absolutely pretty much nails this one. Really enjoyed every aspect of it that I've talked about in this review. So let me know what you think of Backwrap Rouge 540. Let me know what you think of Central Obsessions. I are on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.